Welcome to Inside the Deal. I'm Suzanne Stevens. With me today is former Massachusetts Governor William Weld, now a partner at McDermott, Will, and Emory. Bill, infrastructure spending is a big part of President Obama's administration. There's money for it in the budget. We've seen it in the stimulus. How much opportunity is there for private investors? I, I think there's very substantial opportunity there. There's $150 billion in federal spending. And, uh, you know, this is the conjunction of a couple of trends. There's been an interesting interplay between economic and political forces in the public-private partnership area. And uh, they were going along pretty well in the uh, 90s. There was a great counterattack from organized labor who wanted to keep those union jobs. Uh, but uh, then in, in after the turn of the century, a lot of infrastructure funds were raised because it represents long-term long stable returns. But I think uh, the, the current politics with the Obama administration mean that uh, we're going to see a lot more real money going into PPPs in the near future. And where's that money going to come from? What private investment are we looking at? Broadband access for rural areas of the country, so a lot of internet spending. Uh, the president is very interested in the energy area, and he's appointing a uh, commission to modernize the grid. So you're going to see a lot of that on transmission and distribution for the grid. Uh, he's talked about uh, water, uh, uh, water quality uh, improvements as well. So, you know, although you might have thought PPPs are going to go out of favor because the election of Obama is a pro-labor move, and you have Democrats like DeFazio and Oberstar in the House who have been quite uh, chilly about uh, public-private partnerships in the past, the fact is President Obama believes in collective assets and public assets. Uh, and you also have, you know, the perfect storm that the states and locals are in a huge cash crunch. Uh, they have a $100 billion collective deficit for the states in the next uh, fiscal year. Uh, and there's diminishing revenue going into the Federal uh, Highway Trust Fund because people are traveling less, so there's less money from the gas tax. And that means there's a much greater need for marginal dollars to go into these projects. What are the obstacles to private investors getting in there you know what what are the draw are there drawbacks to partnering well, I, I don't I don't, the, I don't think so I'm the wrong person to ask because I used to be national chair of the uh, privatization council of the United States so I don't think there should be any obstacles the uh, uh, the dispute in the past has, has mainly come I think indirectly from organized labor that thought there would be uh, a loss of, uh, of uh, public sector union jobs but my experience in Massachusetts was that the construction unions they didn't mind these things. They wanted to see the projects built, and then they would, you know, answer for organizing the workers to get them into the union fold. Because it, it creates jobs as it well as creates jobs. strengthening and a infrastructure. A lot of states are over 8% unemployment, so there's just every possible macro economic and political factor going in the same direction, I think, now. And I, I think that the tone set by President Obama is going to be critical here, and the fact that he evokes uh, the assets that he wants to see created. That helps to concentrate the mind wonderfully, particularly of uh, uh, chairman of uh, House and Senate committees. Former Massachusetts Governor William Weld, thanks so much for joining us. I'm Suzanne Stevens. Thanks for watching Inside the Deal.